everybody, Bob Stafford, Train Master Bob, and in today's video we're going to uh, take a look at how I painted the track in my staging yard, which is going to be a scenic staging yard. And it's very easy to do. Simple steps. Begin by spraying your flex track with gray uh, primer paint from the rattle can. This is then, then followed with both oil washes and with acrylic washes. Very simple and uh, I think you'll be uh, happy with the results. I know I am. With uh, painting track and in the old days I'd use an airbrush but right now I don't have access to the airbrush equipment it's all packed up in a pod and you just can't get at it so and just tinkering around here we're trying to find different ways of brushing it and I began over here and I took the track and I painted it here with uh, gray craft paint a latex craft paint and what you find is that the craft paint does it really want to go over top of the ties and leave some of the black brown this color of the plastic showing through so then I started going through and starting to paint some of the ties individually and I spent an hour painting three feet it's not something that's sustainable here's an area that's been just paint it and then I uh, thought well let's try something else really didn't want to get the, the spray cans out but I did because uh, of smell just had to put up with it for a while till it aired out took a can of flat gray primer and I painted the uh, rails with the flat gray primer on these two tracks here and now I'm taking and using raw umber, oil paints, and some odorless uh, turpentine, and uh, using that to apply to the tracks. And show you what I did here. I started just a little bit right here. Let me just show you the process and what I sort of learned here from trial and error. I started here making a raw umber wash to put some in here and some of the other was turpentine. Made a wash to put on and it just uh, found out it just wasn't, I didn't think getting enough color on here most of the time so I ended up putting some raw umber over here on a old lid I used for paint palette and then putting it in just going back and forth and now I'm getting more color on the rails so that's what I'm going to do is a combination of these and just go down here and oh I got about two pieces of track here each about six foot long I'm going to do and then I'll just let this oil base uh, dry and then we'll go and put some additional colors onto it and we'll see how this great experiment works out just trial and error I get something that works for me Okay, when we, up here in the switch, when I spray paint the switch, I put some pieces of masking tape I cut in here to points to protect that. And then when I started with the wash on it here, the, I guess the turpentine just must have just dissolved the, off the adhesive. But uh, doing a switch, one thing I remember, you got to get in here. Throw your switch over and get on to here also, across your ties. Otherwise, you won't have any 
good coloring on top of the gray spray paint. Alrighty. So yeah, just a thought there. And after I put the wash of raw ombre onto the uh, rails, uh, let it dry overnight. Oil-based paints take a lot longer to dry than do the acrylics. And then the next uh, day in the afternoon, here actually today in the afternoon, I went back and I want to show you a little comparison here. Here's the piece of track that has not been painted. And you can compare it to the piece of track that I have uh, painted. And uh, what a difference uh, in the appearance. And the other thing is I've gone into here and I've painted the rails. Now in order to, to, to uh, paint the rails, this is what I did. To paint the rail, I mixed uh, equal parts roughly of raw ombre and burnt sienna acrylic paints, craft paints. Just put them over here and I mixed them all together. And I used this um, a small angle brush, the smallest angle brush I had. Very simple. Tap it in your paint and you just, with your angle brush, you just go slowly down the side and make sure you're covering everything. It's tedious, it takes a while, but I think the uh, difference in appearance is worth the effort. Well, the raw lumber uh, oil based. Uh, paint that I put on here as the wash has dried and now the next thing I'm going to do is uh, acrylic black wash just uh, black acrylic craft paint thin down very much with, with uh, water and a drop of dishwashing detergent and to me I just think that Instead of black wash on things, it just ties everything together. So that's going to be my next step. And then after I put the black wash on, I'm going to try to do a little bit of dry brushing to highlight the, the ties. Now that the raw ombre wash is dried and the real brown color has been put on, and then the black wash over top of that. Uh, the next thing is we're going to do some dry brushing and for this using this cream coat oyster white paint. It's an off white. Okay, if you haven't dry brushed before, it's, there's nothing to it. It's simple. You just take your brush, you put it onto your paint. You're going to apply. You wipe most of it off onto a paper towel and then you just begin to lightly Drag it across the surface that you want to emphasize the texture of. This sort of gives the impression of light reflecting back. That's all, that's all there is to it. Anyways, I'm going to do all of this uh, track. And once it's all dry brushed, then I'm going to call it good until it's time to do the ballasting. If you mess up and you get too much white paint on your brush when you go to dry brush and you get something like this, it's easy to fix. Just get your black wash out and cover it up with your black wash and let that dry and you can always go back and add some more of the uh, white to the dry brush if you want. To clean the paint off my rails I'm just using a block of wood here to cut off shim and I just go back and forth the shim over the top of the rail. So any block of wood will do it. Basically pine. And as you can see, we're working the paint right off of the rail. And this is not scratching up the rail. This is brand new rail. 
and I'm trying to avoid putting a bright boy on it and I'm using this instead. Well, I hope you found my technique for painting my uh, track useful and something you can uh, easily apply to your modeling. Uh, if so, please give my video a like and subscribe to the channel. And in a future episode we'll be uh, ballasting this uh, staging guard and then we're going to uh, finish the process of weathering the uh, tracks in it. It'll probably be several months out before I actually do that. So, uh, anyways, remember, model railroading is the best hobby in the world. Get out there, build something, and enjoy yourself. This is Bob. Bye. Are you suffering from layout bellyitis? I know I was. It was getting harder and harder to fit down those narrow aisles when on layout tours. I remember the layout in the background here. I went sideways down that aisle and I dragged my belly against the side of the aisle the entire distance so I got into the clearance point. That was the day that I thought I needed to do something about this. And I found a weight loss coffee that I began drinking. And this couch potato, by drinking one cup of this coffee every morning, managed to go from a 42 inch waist to a 38 inch waist and I've kept the weight off now for about two years. So if you're suffering from layout bellyitis and you're looking uh, for a way to address this problem, go to weightlosscoffeesample.com, fill out my contact sheet there, and I will mail you a coffee sample. All proceeds from sales go to support my model railroad habit. Help me uh, buy the materials I need to uh, build my new layout and to make these videos possible, for which I am thankful.